Hi, this is Raina. Thank you for joining me on my crochet channel. In this video, we will crochet the golden button doily. It's a free pattern online and it's quite easy. I would recommend this project for a confident beginner. If you have mastered your basic crochet stitches, then this is a great pattern to work on and maybe also learn something new. And my doily here measures about 13 and a half inches in diameter. And at the end of the video, I will also show you how to block your doily. I use crochet thread size 10. This one is Lisbeth. One ball here has 25 grams, 122 yards. I have two balls and the color is called gold. And my crochet hook is 1.75 millimeters. Let's start with slip knot. Then chain seven. And slip stitch in first chain to make a ring. And the first round is uh, 20 double crochets. Start with three chains. This counts as first double crochet. And now double crochet 19 more in the ring. And to finish the round, slip stitch in third beginning chain. Round two, we're going to make three double crochet clusters. The beginning one starts with three chains, then start your double crochet in that same stitch, pull through first two loops, leave last two loops on hook, and then start the next double crochet also in same stitch, pull through first two loops. Now you have three loops on hook, yarn over and pull through all of them. Chain five, two, four, five. Then skip next stitch. And this is, uh, it's very close here, this one. And in the next one, we'll make next double crochet cluster. So start the first double crochet don't finish, start a second double crochet, same stitch, don't finish, and start a third one in same stitch. And now you have four loops on hook, yarn over, pull through all of them. Chain five, three, four, five, and this repeats. So we'll have 10 double crochet clusters. Again, skip next stitch, this one. Go in the next and make the cluster. Then chain five. And repeat, skip next stitch, next cluster is here. And to finish this round, last five chains and then slip stitch in top of the first cluster. To start round three, first slip stitch in that next five chain space. Then chain three, and this counts as first double crochet, and double crochet in same space. 
chain one, double crochet two in the same space, chain one, skip next cluster, go in the next chain space, double crochet two, chain one, double crochet two more in the same space, and repeat. Chain one, skip cluster in the next chain space, two double crochets, chain one, two more double crochets, chain one, and same in the next chain space. And I finish this round after last chain, slip stitch in third beginning chain. Round four starts from here again, chain three, and this is the first double crochet. Then double crochet in that next double crochet, and chain two, double crochet in the next. And also in the next chain two and this repeats all around double crochet one in each stitch and then so you make two then chain two again one and one chain two To finish this round after last two chains again slip stitch and third beginning chain and round five start with three chains this is first double crochet then double crochet in the next stitch and double crochet in the next chain space chain two now double crochet in next stitch also in the next stitch and double crochet in a chain space chain two so on this round we have three double crochets first one goes in the next stitch second goes in the next stitch and third goes in the chain space then chain two Finish the round also with slip stitch in third beginning chain. Round six. First, we have to slip stitch in that next double crochet, and it starts from here. Chain three, this is first double crochet, double crochet in the next stitch, then double crochet in the next chain space. Now chain three and we're going to skip the next double crochet. We'll go in the next one, the middle, double crochet here, double crochet in the next one, then double crochet in chain space, chain three and repeat, skip next stitch this, go in the next. Double crochet also in the next and then in a chain space. Chain three. Repeat. Round seven. Again, first slip stitch in the next stitch. Chain three and double crochet in the next stitch. 
and then make two double crochets in next chain space and chain three then skip first stitch double crochet in the next also in the next and two in the chain space chain three and this repeats skip next make four double crochets and three chains round eight also first slip stitch in next stitch here chain three double crochet in the next stitch and also in the next and then two in a chain space so we have five here chain three skip next stitch go in the next one two three four five chain three and repeat three double crochets one in each next stitch and two in chain space chain three round nine starts the same slip stitch in the next double crochet chain three and then double crochet one in each next stitch and double crochet two in a chain space so here we have six double crochets then chain three skip next stitch and then make four double crochets two, three and four and then two in a chain space chain three repeat skip next stitch make four plus two to start round ten we will need to slip stitch in next two stitches so one and two then chain three this is first double crochet double crochet in each next three stitch and then double crochet two in the chain space chain three then skip one double crochet the first one go in the next double crochet one in each next five two three four five then two in a chain space so here we have we've started with six double crochets after three chains we need to make seven after seven double crochets now chain five three four five after five chains we're gonna skip two double crochets next stitches one two go in the next 
So here we make the six double crochets. First four in one in each next stitch and two in the chain space. Then after six double crochets, chain three. And the next is we skip just one stitch here, go in the next. And here we do the seven double crochets, five plus two. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. After seven double crochets, we chain five. Two, three, four, five. And now continue. After five chains, we skip two next stitches. One, two, and then we do six double crochets. So four plus two. And after six double crochets, you chain three. Then you skip one stitch, you make seven double crochets, and chain five. And repeat. I finished this round with five chains and when you count you have ten five chain spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Round eleven. Also need to uh, slip stitch in next two stitches. One and two. And we'll make six double crochets. Start with three chains. This is the first. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. So last two go in a chain space. Then chain two. And here skip the first double crochet and make one in each next six. So also six double crochets here. Three, four, five, and six. And then here we have the five chain space. First chain five, three, four, five, and then single crochet in a five chain space, chain five, two, three, four, five. Then skip next two stitches, one, two. We'll make six double crochets. First four go in next four stitch. So one in each. One, two, three, four, last two go in a chain space. Then chain two, skip one double crochet and double crochet one in each next six. Two, three, four, five, and six. Here is the five chain space. We'll do five chains, then single crochet in chain space, and chain five more. Two, three, four, five. 
and then repeat after the five chains we need to skip two stitches one two and then make six double crochets four in stitches and two in chain space and then chain two skip one stitch and double crochet six and then you'll do again five chains single crochet five chains next is round 12 again first slip stitch in the next stitch here then chain two and double crochet in the next stitch this will be the beginning two double crochets together then double crochet one in each next three double crochet two in the chain space and four here next four stitches four and now have two stitches left we'll make two double crochets together start the first one don't finish and then start the second one and when you have three loops on hook pull thread through all of them so here we do two double crochets together in the beginning and end and double crochet nine between then chain five single crochet in the next five chain space now chain two and we'll make three double crochet cluster in that single crochet stitch so insert hook in that stitch start the first double crochet don't finish start the second one in the same stitch don't finish and start the third one in the same stitch and when you have four loops on hook yarn over pull through all of them and chain two and then single crochet in the next five chain space chain five and here to start these double crochets first skip the first stitch this one go in the next make two double crochets together first one in first stitch second in the next stitch and then three loops on hook pull through all of them two together and then here nine again three two and four and then here last two two together and then you do the five chains single crochet two chains double crochet cluster two chains single crochet five chains and to start here again skip the first stitch and to finish this round I will slip stitch in top of that first two double crochets together round 13 also start with a slip stitch in the next stitch and then we'll do again the beginning two double crochets together so two chains and double crochet in the next stitch then double crochet one in each next six and then you have two stitches left we'll do two double crochets together Then chain five and single crochet in the next five chain space. 
chain two and three double crochet cluster in a single crochet stitch chain two now a uh, single crochet in top of that double crochet cluster on previous round and chain two and then double crochet cluster in the next single crochet stitch then chain two and single crochet in a five chain space chain five and just like on last round we skip this first stitch here it's these uh, two double crochets together we may go in the next start your first double crochet and then start second double crochet next stitch and pull through three loops so two together and then continue six double crochets and in last two stitches again two double crochets together and then you do this part here again I finished again with slip stitch in that first beginning two double crochets together around 14 also start with slip stitch in the next stitch and the beginning two double crochets together so chain two and double crochet in the next now double crochet three and in the last two stitches two together chain five and single crochet in that five chain space chain two three double crochet cluster in a single crochet stitch chain two single crochet in top of the next cluster chain five now skip this next single crochet and single crochet in top of the next cluster chain two make a cluster in the next single crochet chain two single crochet in five chain space and chain five. five and here again skip the first stitch make two together in next two stitches and then three double crochets and two together in last two stitches and then this part round 15 this one starts from right here we don't slip stitch so again with the beginning two double crochets together so chain two and double crochet in the next then double crochet in the next stitch now have two stitches left make two together then chain five single crochet in a five chain space chain two cluster in the next single crochet 
two and three. Chain two. Single crochet in top of the next cluster. Now chain five. And double crochet in the next five chain space. I'm going to find a third chain and double crochet in it. Chain five, five, single crochet in top of the next cluster, chain two, double crochet cluster in the next single crochet stitch. Three, chain two, single crochet in five chain space, and chain five, five. and here we don't skip a stitch, make two double crochets together, first one in the next stitch, and second in the next. Then one double crochet and again two together in the last two stitches. And chain five to this part. And round 16. So here we need to do three double crochets together. And the beginning one starts with two chains, then start a double crochet next stitch and don't finish. Start double crochet in the next stitch and then you have three loops and hook full through all of them. Chain five, single crochet in five chain space, chain two, and three double crochet cluster now in this next single crochet. Chain two and single crochet in top of the next cluster. Now chain five. Double crochet in the next five chain space, chain five, double crochet in the next five chain space, and chain five. And single crochet in top of the next cluster. Then chain two and make a cluster in next single crochet. Chain two, single crochet in five chain space. Chain five. And here we'll do three double crochets together. Start the first one in first stitch, start the second one in the next stitch, and start the third one in the next stitch. And then you have four loops on hook, yarn over, pull through all of them, and chain five. And then single crochet in five chain space, and then I repeat this whole part. To finish round 16, instead of last five chains, uh, we'll do two chains and then double crochet in top of that beginning, three double crochets together. So we can start round 17 from here, chain, 
single crochet in that same space chain five now skipping these stitches here go in the next five chain space and single crochet chain two make a double crochet cluster in single crochet stitch chain two and single crochet in top of the next cluster then chain five double crochet in the next five chain space chain five double crochet in the next five chain space chain five double crochet in the next five chain space and chain five now skipping this go in the next uh, double crochet cluster make single crochet then two chains and double crochet cluster in a single crochet stitch chain two and single crochet in five chain space chain five this stitch here in the next five chain space single crochet and then that repeats next this two chains double crochet cluster in single crochet stitch and two chains and so forth and to finish round 17 I did the last cluster and two chains slip stitch in a first single crochet now I want to slip stitch in three chains here of this five chain one two three and start round 18 from here chain and then single crochet in that same space chain two double crochet cluster in next single crochet chain two and single crochet in top of the cluster chain five double crochet in five chain space chain five double crochet next five chain space chain five double crochet chain five double crochet and chain five 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 chain spaces here and then single crochet in top of the next cluster chain two double crochet cluster in single crochet stitch chain two 
and single crochet in five chain space and repeat chain two double crochet cluster here chain two single crochet here and then you do again these five five chains and double crochets you finish round 18 after last double crochet cluster and two chains I will slip stitch in a first single crochet to start round 19 slip stitch first in these next two chains and slip stitch in top of the cluster then chain one and single crochet here in that same stitch and now we'll do five chains and double crochet in the next chain space we'll make six of these five chains first one made this is second and double crochet in the next space third one double crochet in next space fourth double crochet and fifth one double crochet After six one single crochet in top of the next cluster and here we're gonna do two chains cluster in this single crochet here two chains and single crochet in top of next cluster and then repeat six uh, five chains and double crochets between to finish this round we have to do the last double crochet cluster here chain two and slip stitch in that first single crochet and to start round 20 going to slip stitch in next three chains of this first five chain two and three And now chain uh, eight. So first three count as uh, double crochet and then five chains. And double crochet in the next chain space. Chain five. Double crochet in the next space chain five double crochet chain five double crochet chain five double crochet And now for 
this part, chain six, two, three, four, five, six, and single crochet in top of the cluster. Then chain six, two, four, five, six, and double crochet in the next chain space. And then you'll do the five chains again. So we need to do here one, two, three, four, five. So this is the six chains here. And now one, two, three, four, five, five chains. And then after this double crochet, we are here in this part. And then again, chain six. Five, six, single crochet in top of the cluster, chain six, and double crochet in next space. And again, repeat five, five chains. And to finish this round, did the last single crochet here, chain six. Four, five, six, and now here we did eight chains to start this round. Count the third one and slip stitch in it. And to start the last round, 21, I will slip stitch first in these next three chains. And then chain three, this is the double crochet stitch. Chain three more. And now chain five. One, two, three, four, five. So total 11 here. And I'm going to count back to that fifth chain from hook. One, two, three, four, five and slip stitch in it then chain three and double crochet in the next space chain three then chain five one two three four Five. Slip stitch in that fifth chain from hook. Chain three. And double crochet in the next space. And this repeats now. Chain three plus five. Two, three, four, five. Slip stitch in fifth chain from hook, chain three, and double crochet in next space. So this is repeating now all around, including these six chain spaces. It's all the same. And I finish with slip stitch in that beginning third chain. Cut off thread and fasten off. Next I will weave in the ends and then I will block my doily. So I will make it all wet, attach it to my blocking mats with pins. Uh, I like to use some spray starch to give it firm shape and then let it dry. I will show you next how I block my doily.
here is my finished doily looking much better after blocking and I hope you have fun making your own golden button doily you will find a link to written pattern in video description box thank you so much for watching and happy crocheting